Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some autumn outfits with you. I think there's going to be about 10 autumn outfits in this video, maybe a little bit more, depending on how successful they all are. So this video in particular is going to be for the kind of early autumn months, I would say. We're not fully there in terms of needing to wear coats yet, but there are a couple of coat inclusions in this video. But this is not like a winter lookbook. So for reference, I live in the south of England, so anywhere like colder than here, you may want to like add thermals, add your coats, but this can still act as a little bit of styling inspiration for what to wear underneath and if you live in a climate that is warmer than mine then obviously I would generally recommend not layering up so much maybe saving this video for inspo for a month or so's time also if you live in a warmer climate you may want to refer back to my summer to autumn transitional video which I will link at the top of the screen but yeah there's lots of cozy knits in this video lots of boots trainers a little bit of styling up of my new bag which I'm really really excited about also I did want to mention quite a few of the pieces I'm going to be using are from my wardrobe if you're a long time subscriber you will have recognized from previous years. Fortunately, I do shop at a lot of retailers that tend to bring out similar things every single year. So I will do my best to link like this year's versions of things in the info box below. So definitely check there for all of the links to everything. And in general, as a reference as well, I wear a size small, a UK size eight. However, quite a few of the knits are from previous years. So they will be a size 10. I'll try and remember to say what they are as I go along. But as a general reference, that is my sizing, just in case I forget. But yeah, we're gonna get started with look number one. I hope you love this video and enjoy it as much as I know I'm going to enjoy filming it. Also, can we take a moment for that I didn't have to fake tan before I filmed today because I am literally like covered. That is the best bit about autumn. My hands could be a different colour to the rest of my body and you would just never know. But yeah, that was a long intro. We're going to jump straight in. I hope you guys love this video. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to tell me your favourite outfit in the comments below. Okay, so outfit number one. We are styling the new bag. It is very exciting. If you want to go and watch my unboxing. Oh, I'll link it at the top of the screen. But I thought I'd get started with the look that you've already seen in the intro to this video. This is just a really nice easy one and it's great for having like thermals or any kind of like layering situation, like a little vest or something like that. It's great for having layers underneath. So with me, I obviously live in the south of England. I can get away with wearing this for a good, I would say up until maybe the end of the month, depending on the type of weather we are having that day. Honestly, I can't recommend thermals enough for this time of year. They help to really regulate the temperature, keep you warm, but not like overly hot. But if you do find that they're a bit too much, they are very easy to just quickly take off as well. So for this time of year where we're really kind of like in between, there are a lot of days at the moment where I'm like, is it hot? Is it cold? I don't know. Thermals are so great. But also with the bottoms on this outfit, they keep you very warm too. So this is a really nice one for carrying you through like like autumn up until things start to get really chilly. So my shirt is from Zara. If you saw one of my more recent Zara calls, you will recognize this one. I have been loving wearing this over the past couple of months, couple of months, month or so. In that in-between period between summer and autumn, it was so good to wear with cycle shorts and a body. I really enjoyed that. A little pair of Converse on my feet. I was so, so happy just throwing this on. I didn't have to do it the whole way up or anything. It just literally throwing it over my shoulders to shield me from the wind, it was perfect. But now I'm really enjoying wearing it buttoned up. Today I've got it over some leather look leggings. This pair I believe are from All Saints. However, I normally prefer a more like matte look waxy pair of leather leggings. Where are they in my wardrobe right now? I actually have no idea. I think they're still in storage and I've still got a lot of my autumn clothes to get out and go through. We started with knits today. I will move on to other bags over the coming weeks. But I do find that to be a little bit more flattering on my figure. I don't find the sheen on leather look leggings to be as like streamlining and slimming as a matte leather look legging. However, some people might find the complete opposite, but it's just my personal preference. This outfit would also just work beautifully with like a regular pair of leggings as well. Really don't need to fuss over what is on your bottom half. But I've then gone for my black rock pair of boots from ASOS, which I love so much. I've had these for a couple of years now and I just love them. They've been an absolute staple in my wardrobe. The square toe on them gives them such a cool modern look and the heel kind of mimics that as well, being very like squared off. And then for a little bit of texture, we've gone for the new bag as well. This is a Chanel 19 in the brown and black tweed. And I just think it's so gorgeous. And there's a lot of different textures going on in this outfit. The majority of them very like, they have a sheen to them. So we've got like a very satiny type shirt. There's the gloss on the leather look leggings and then the croc boots are like patented, 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 they are shiny. And the bag obviously isn't, so it just takes away from that a little and adds a little bit of texture because it is that kind of like tweedy fabric, but also adds a little bit more dimension as well because it's got 
the tan tones running through it. So that is outfit number one, a really nice one for adding various different layers like jumpers, jackets, coats over once the chillier days start to like roll in. And like I said, you can layer stuff underneath it for now. So a really great starting point for our autumn winter wardrobes. I absolutely love this one. I personally with this one would go with either a long black coat or maybe a leather jacket. I think those personally would be my go-tos, but you could also opt for a blazer or a trench coat as well, depending on your preference. Yeah, that's outfit number one. Okay, so with this look, I'm even giving you the matching coffee cup, which I will link in the info box if anyone's interested, just to show me living my best autumnal life because I have missed wearing roll necks like this so much. I can't even tell you guys. So if you're new here, last year I had a bob, which I could not do this with and previous years to that i've been able to do a hair tuck but i've had very long extensions in and basically they touch knitwear and they just mat so it was honestly like hell on earth so i've got all my own hair this year it's long i'm so happy so here she is i've missed i've missed looks like this i feel like it's been such a long time since i wore a look like this last year there wasn't even really opportunity to wear boots or any outfits like this i cannot tell you how happy i am to be back in business guys so my jumper is from h&m it's one that i picked up i think last last december it is gorgeous i really didn't get the chance to wear it as much as i would have liked last winter so i'm really excited to be wearing it right now i think it really does work at its best when it's like left to be styled on its own like no coats no jumpers. I feel like I've said this a lot recently, but I really prefer in the winter like lots of light layers that you can like slowly take off versus in autumn. I'll just wear like a body under this. And if I get hot, I just take the one jumper off. I don't really want to do lots of light layers because I don't need to wear a coat. And I personally hate wearing like a big knit like this and then being like bundled under a coat if I don't have to be. It doesn't really get cold enough in England to really need to do that. I say that it gets cold up north. I live in the south and I can really get away with this the autumn and then lots of light layers throughout winter so i've just paired it with the all saints leather look leggings again and my asos prop boots however i'm going to give you another boot option like a flat boot option because i know everyone has very different shoe preferences i personally could also wear this with like a converse trainer as well this is one of those looks that looks cool with anything like if you wanted to wear this with almost like a more street style trainer i could wear this with my like white running trainers and it would still look cool it just look a bit more like scandinavian vibes very like casual but personally for me i really enjoy alternating boots or converse at the moment they're my go-to's so like i said i'll give you another shoe option i've also just popped on my chanel jumbo with it i think just like a big black bag with this one like nothing that really takes away from the outfit too much i think the roll neck on its own is such a statement and it's such a chic look that i didn't really want to take away from what's going on here too much however you could add more of a textured bag if you really wanted a look that is really like giving but yeah this one i love it just gives me like peak autumnal vibes and i'm really really here for it and then this is the look just very quickly with the flat boots these are from asos last year I got so much wear out of them last autumn and I've already started wearing them again this autumn so far with skirts and bare legs. But as we move deeper into autumn, I'll be wearing these with leggings, skinny jeans, leather look leggings. If it is a skinny fit, I will be wearing it with these boots. They're absolutely fab. I love the fact that they are like a kind of leather look from the front, but then we have the fabric on the back, which does make them very like soft on my ankles, which I really like. I've never got like an ankle blister, like on the back of my ankles with these, because they are very soft, which is great. And these are such an amazing one that will take you through from autumn right into winter, kind of into the spring as well. These have just been such a great addition to my wardrobe. So I love them. And I think they look very cute with like any kind of legging or skinny jean and then an oversized jumper and then just like a really cute bag. It's just such a perfect autumn look. So you're gonna see these a lot more in the video so me not fake tanning has really come back to bite me because i actually forgot that i've got a few shorter skirt options in this video what can you do anyway the main event of this next outfit i have a few variations of it is this black croc skirt which i believe was from zara last year i really like the skirt because it's not super short but it is very high waisted and one of those skirts it's not a line but it's almost like a tiny bit a line but then really comes in and hugs your figure there's no pockets no nothing so it really does give you a very nice 
silhouette. I really, really like this skirt. It's a really nice one to wear. It doesn't move about too much when you're wearing it. I mean, all skirts, I would say, that are kind of like a leather skirt or a mini skirt are borderline annoying for that. But this one isn't too bad for it. I paired it with a t-shirt from H&M. These t-shirts are kind of weird. They're almost like a little bit short sleeve bat wingy. It makes them feel like quite a dressy t-shirt to me. So I do like to pair them with things that are maybe a little bit more fitted on the bottom. I find that that way it just sits a little bit better. And I think especially because the skirt is so fitted and it really like hugs your figure. This very loose t-shirt that like brings attention to kind of like your shoulders, almost like exaggerates them a little bit. It complements what's going on on my bottom half very nicely, kind of like offsets. I just think it's really cute. I've also paired this little combo with my khaki boots, which are from Zara. I could have gone with croc boots, but that just felt a little bit too matchy matchy. And I really like the khaki boots. They are kind of like statement, but without like taking away from the rest of the outfit too much. And with this, you could either go with a blazer to kind of dress this situation up or layer a nice chunky knit over the top. So I'm gonna show you both. This is the blazer. And obviously this would be more appropriate for a dressier occasion, maybe like a dinner out. In terms of bags, I would probably go for a black bag with this one, just so that the boots are the only little pop of color that I've got going on. I wouldn't really wanna to blend too many like browns into the mix with this look specifically, I think because for me, it is more dressy. I think it's better to have less going on in terms of color. If this were a more daytime look, I'd definitely be more inclined to mix in like some browns. I find browns to be like very casual and they would definitely help to dress this down. And this is it with the blazer on. A very cute little dressy outfit for autumn, but I'm gonna show you how I would casual it down now. Okay, so first up, we're gonna take this little knit from Topshop. This is in a medium, so it's gonna be nice and loose on me. I don't think it was meant to be like an oversized fit when I got it, so it's not gonna be too oversized, which is fab. I don't want anything too crazy with this one. You could keep the t-shirt on underneath it if you wanted as well, and this would then be a very good look to take you from day to night. Okay, so this is kind of phase one in casualing down this outfit. If you're someone like me that likes to wear heeled boots, just on a day-to-day -day basis, then this one is for you. This would be a really cute, like, coffee day out kind of outfit. I would just feel so happy in this. Maybe the hair tuck helps, I don't know. So like I said, the top is from Topshop. I think I picked it up last autumn. I don't know if they still do it now, but I'm sure there's a retailer that is selling something similar. I'm sure there could be something like this on ASOS right now. So simple. And then for casually down this look, like I said, brown works very well at making a look look more casual. So I've gone for my Louis Vuitton Pochette and Tease in the reverse monogram. It's a really cute bag. This one is very nice for daytime as well. I find it very handy, like it's a good size for daytime. It looks like it's the messenger style bag. It looks very casual as well. So it really works to casual down an outfit, but still give it a little bit of interest because the monogram kind of like adds quite a lot of detail and it adds a little bit of texture as well. So yeah, I just really love this little look. But there's definitely like a few cute boot options you could go for a knee high boot which I will show you now. So this is the look with my ASOS flat knee high boots. I also think this would look very cute if you wanted to go a little bit more dressy with some heeled knee high boots that would look so so cute. I mean we could be here all day with me trying on various different shoe options with this look. A lot of different boot options will go so I'm sure everyone will have something in their wardrobe that they can use to recreate this kind of look. This look could also look cute with tights. I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know how we all feel about tights. I love them until my nail creates a hole in them. And then I get this deep rage from within and I just can't deal with them anymore. I sometimes find flat boots like this can cut you off a little bit, which is why I do prefer a heel. I think it like elongates your figure a little bit more. And with a chunky jumper going on and then a skirt that is very like straight cut across the hem. I find that this can look a little bit off sometimes, but there is something about this little outfit that I do just think is really, really cute. And I think it works. My tip would to be to keep as slim a boot as physically possible. So don't go for anything like too chunky that also comes higher from the legs. It's literally just gonna cut your legs off. But yeah, overall, I think this is a really cute one, a really nice one for just like casually going out for coffee, but you wanna look cute, you wanna look autumnal. Don't do a shot every time I say autumnal people because you will end up drunk. And in true autumn style, it looks like it's about to absolutely tip it down. Where did the sun just go? So this next outfit is centered around this little 
pair of shorts that I recently picked up from Zara. They were in the Zara haul that I mentioned earlier. For anyone wondering about the size of this pair of shorts, because I had a bit of a sizing dilemma in that video, I returned them and I got a size extra small, which just for reference, like I said, I'm usually like a size eight small in UK sizing. The small had room for like a food baby, and more it was very large on me it kind of wasn't sitting right whereas the extra small there is no room for a food baby so the sizing jumps quite dramatically between the extra small and the small i'm very happy with the extra small i'm sure because it is like that faux leather it will have give over time as the material like warms up and stretches i'm sure it won't always be as fitted as it is right now i mean right now it's great if i'm doing like a work event and i want to wear something very very fitted i've got a couple of layers on here so i wouldn't exactly say that i'm wearing something very very fitted but if i were to just be wearing like one single like long sleeve body it would cinch in really nicely into the shorts and they fit very very well but there is like not a lot of room for like going out eating being bloaty in general in these shorts in the extra small so bear in mind if you're looking at picking them up but anyway i've just paired it with this black long sleeve jumper from zara which i've got in a size small could have done with an extra small they don't do an extra small sadly but i then also paired those with my asos boots and then this kotigan which is from mango they do a kind of similar version to this every single year so i'll try and link this year's version if it's out already in terms of bags i think this one would be a really cute one to tie in those black and tan tones it's just so cute so i've kept the styling of the leather shorts quite casual but you could definitely dress this up with a pair of boots and then a blazer over the top i just wanted to give something a little different i love this coat it's like the perfect cardigan coat hybrid like sometimes i wear it around the house a lot of the time i wear it outdoors it is just my dream coat i picked this up in 2018 and this is just one of those items that i don't ever see leaving my wardrobe. I absolutely adore it. And then this is me just giving you the evening version of this outfit that basically nobody asked for. Do you like evening outfits in an autumn styling video or in a like seasonal styling video? Do let me know because I won't bother otherwise. But I've just thrown on my Zara blazer over the black Zara jumper and the Zara shorts. And then also added these new look heels as well, which are very cute. And my Chanel jumbo bag, just to give it a little bit of like glam, but keep like the bag kind of like black and keep it all in keeping with the rest of the outfit. It ties in really nicely with the shoes and the shorts as well. This outfit looks cute with a nice little hair tuck, but would also look very, very cute with like a slick back bun as well. Perfect for nights out because you really don't have to like worry about your hair but anyway i love this outfit it's a really nice go-to to have in your wardrobe for dinners out drinks out that kind of thing where you don't really want to have to worry about your outfit too much depending on temperature as well you can always go for just a body underneath and keep it really cool but i just kept the jumper on as a way of showing that you can take this look from day into night yeah i love this one it's so cute it's a really nice timeless classic autumn evening outfit so this next look might be a little bit hit or miss for some people but i personally really love it I have the Zara sweatshirt on again. Sweatshirt? Fine knit, whatever you want to call it. Knitted jumper, let's go with that one. I have it paired with my new look straight leg jeans, which are a newer addition to my wardrobe. I think I got them about a month or so back. And I really love these. These are the kinds of jeans that they are so like, you know, very rigid, very stiff when you first wear them. And then they kind of like really mold to the shape of your body. And I love that. I picked them up in a size eight petite. And it has been so long since I bought a petite pair of jeans but I really wanted a pair of straight leg jeans and I just knew that it was going to be a bit difficult for me being five foot two I was probably going to have to like alter a pair of jeans like find a pair that had a raw hem and cut cross and I saw these in their petite section and I thought I'd just give it a go and they are like perfect length for wearing with a pair of trainers I absolutely love them thank you to the girl in the comments a few months back that actually suggested that straight leg jeans would be the one for me and would be very flattering on my figure because I decided to take that advice and just give it a go I have no regrets i'm really really enjoying wearing these i really like wearing them with my converse so i'm wearing a black pair of converse which are a slightly newer addition to my wardrobe i was loving the white converse so much i decided to pick up the black because i just felt like i'd get a lot of wear out of them over the autumn months and i think i might be right on that one so that's great i've also just put my chanel bag on because there is nothing nothing better than dressing up an outfit just with a bag and this bag is like one of the go-to's for doing that i absolutely love it so this outfit is nice and warm all on its own like i 
I am sweating right now. However, there is a coat that I'm really looking forward to pairing with this, so I'm gonna show you that now. So this is a black coat that I have from All Saints. It's very like long line, meant to be a midi length, but it's a little bit longer than that on me. It actually ties at the waist, but you can remove the tie, which I've done for this look just because I think it looks a little bit cleaner and just smartens up a very casual outfit underneath a little bit without the tie waist is kind of like lingering and not being tied at the back. I don't really like that. I love how long this coat is and I think it complements the jeans really, really nicely because they're very long and straight. The coat is very long and straight. It just works really nicely together and because black just ties in really well with everything else in the outfit. It's just a very cool, cute look. There's a couple of Instagrammers that I follow that live in Paris and they tend to wear things like this and I just love that. So let me know. Do you hate this or do you rate this? I would love to know because I feel like this is the most rogue outfit that I've kind of put together from this edit. I think it's cute and I think these jeans would look really cute as well, like dressed up with a pair of heels and maybe like a black blazer as well. I think that could look really cute. Maybe I'll try it at some point if I'm feeling brave enough. So this next outfit is very cute and casual. I have this jumper on which is very old from Misguided, I think. Think. Like the misguided or pretty little thing and they've just never brought it back. Everyone asks me about it I've sadly never really seen anything quite like this. It's not the most amazing quality It's not the softest material to be fair It's been in a vacuum sealed bag for about six months So it's a little bit greasy definitely my fault But anyway, it was very cheap and cheerful, but it has been an absolute gem in my wardrobe I absolutely love it. I can't imagine ever getting rid of it. And I've popped it on with this black midi skirt Which I believe is from Zara. I think both of these are in a size small and I've just paired them with my converse just for like something really easy casual very cute it's super comfy just a really nice one for every day when you want to look put together but feel really really comfortable i've popped on the chanel 19 with it because the tan and the black just ties in everything really nicely but this is another really lovely one that you can change to make a little bit more dressy just by simply switching your ankle boots i would switch to like a sock boot maybe or a pair of like heeled knee-high boots because you've got the slit in the skirt that would work very nicely as well or even just a simple pair of heels could work really nicely as well and voila so as promised the boots option it's just a really cute little look very easy to take from day to night i literally just tucked the chain away on my bag i'm using it as like a little a little a big clutch now and yeah it's just a very cute easy autumn outfit this could work really well for day as well if you wanted to be dressier in the day you could also pop a body on like a zara body or something like that underneath this not only as a layering piece for warmth you could also do a, like a longer sleeve body if it was very very cold but also in terms of if you get a little bit too warm you can take the jumper off and just have a black body underneath and i just love doing that because i find it just helps you make the most out of this autumn season where even like through in november it's still not as cold for me where i am in the UK as it gets in like January, February. So we're just using a little bit of layering to help keep these outfits, these autumn outfits going for that little bit longer before we switch over to our autumn wardrobes. So yeah, love this one for being just such an easy little layering outfit, being so cute, so comfortable. I would definitely recommend having like some crop jumpers like these, which are quite like thin and a little bit slouchy in your wardrobe because they not only work really well with trousers and jeans, but with midi skirts as well, they look very cute. And especially if they've got a crop to them, they they generally hit a really nice point on the body. So this outfit is probably one that you will see me wearing a lot throughout autumn winter. It is an old favourite of mine, like this midi dress I wore so, so much last winter. It's actually like a real like flowy knitted midi dress and what I like to do is I take my black belt off of the coat that you saw earlier and they match really well. Like you can never tell that it's not meant to be on this dress. But I always just use it as a tie waist for this dress because otherwise it is, it almost like goes in a rounded shape which is very, very unflattering. So I always like to cinch it but I never use an actual belt because I just find it breaks up the silhouette a little bit and I just find that keeping like things really minimal and keeping it really streamlined is the most flattering for me. So yeah, that's what I like to do to kind of cinch in this dress a little bit more, especially because I'm wearing flats with this outfit. So I've just popped on a pair of Converse, like so nice and easy. This is just one of those like typical everyday outfits for me, which I could just so easily throw on daily at the moment. I say daily, probably of an evening because it's still quite warm in the day. But yeah, just a really typical one for me to throw on. Like, I love my Converse and I love a comfy midi dress. So this is just a very 
very me outfit. They all are, but this one is just, would be a go-to everyday one for me. Popped on the Louis Vuitton Pouche Matisse because I just think it's such a lovely casual bag. It adds a little bit of interest to an outfit, but without like dressing up or anything. It's just a very, very cute bag. And this outfit to me is like super cute. So they just all work really nicely together. It's just one of those really easy go-to outfits. Okay guys, that's where I'm gonna leave it here for this video because we are actually losing daylight. <laughs> Sadly, it's not like a super, super sunny day. So I'm gonna have to cut the short a little bit early. I think we got to 10, maybe nine. I'm not sure, it was either nine or 10 outfits. I actually lose track with the amount of variations I give you of each outfit, so I'm really not sure. But I hope you liked this video. Please let me know your favorite outfit in the comments below. If you want another one of these when it gets some more daylight, let me know. And I'll do another one for you again very, very soon. But until then, I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye.